it's still uh, September 9th, 2021. Um, it's about 10 hours later than the last one. Um, and nothing much has happened. Um, I don't really have anything to talk about. Um, except for that thumbnail. I like that thumbnail that it shows. That's one thing. I never know exactly what kind of thumbnails are going to get selected. I assume there's a way to choose, but I don't know how. So it chooses random frames. To me, it appears random. So it's like whenever it sees something strange or different, that it seems like it captures onto that. Like it might be my hand in the screen and it captures that for some reason. Or another object, so it might capture my watch. But uh, I don't know how it works. But anyway, um, so today was the day that... And that was one thing I <clears throat> I didn't write about or mention was that uh, you know I didn't um, plan on it um, ahead of time. Um, I was just going to go out there and see what happened, and uh, you know not hold it against myself if I got tired or felt bad or some pain just came up out of nowhere. Um, you know it doesn't surprise me. I just you know when something it's like oh, I have permission to stop. I don't have to, I don't have to continue. Um, so, but things worked, um, things were running okay, and so I just didn't feel like I had to, you know, I could just keep going until something, and, uh, um, so I did, and I didn't have to force it, and I didn't have to make it happen, all I had to do was let it see that the potential was there, um, I had the ability, and I wanted to, and then just let it. And, yeah. So, that, that's it. That was the strategy. To just let it, and then, you know, do it. And, yeah. And I guess that's how I'm approaching this whole thing. Not just running, either, but, uh, you know, other things in life. You know, it's like, well, my life isn't going to go ahead and live itself. So I have to be the one to initiate. I have to take charge. I have to make choices. In the absence of evidence, in the, in the presence of evidence, I have to guess. And as one uh, person said in... Um, and I like the quote, is that, uh, you know, he would take some, somebody's educated guesses over another person's facts any day. So it's like, I like to think that my educated guesses are pretty darn good. Um, I might be totally wrong, but I don't, um, you know, especially when it comes to myself, I'm a, you know, I make good guesses, except for the ones that are just terrible, but those are usually because they involve other people, and I'm trying to, um, I don't have any, yeah, that does, doesn't work. Anyway, um, yet, I'm still trying, though, I'm still trying to communicate with the human race, or, you know, what's left of it. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not the last person on, on the planet. Um, I don't think so. But uh, for all I know, I am. I don't know. <sighs> the last survivor of uh, a pretty young species, I think. I didn't stay on the planet very long. But that was probably, you know, I don't know. As far as biodiversity and life on the planet, um, the one species was causing the destruction and, you know, uh, so much around it. It wasn't pretty, so just harvesting and using up all available resources. <sighs> so anyway, it's kind of a sad thing. Anyway, but uh, so I went for my run, and I felt really good about it. Um, 
and uh, yeah, 12 miles, 12 miles, just fascinating. And I'm approaching six months, and even back when I was in my regular, it's like I never ran that long or that far. I guess I just had, I didn't see the point, you know, it's like I didn't have anything in mind. And I, I still don't, but I just never thought about it. I just, you know, I was trained um, how to run three to five miles. That was basically my training. And I never, it never even occurred to me that I could go farther. Until I'm shown, it's like, once I'm taught how to do something, it's like I, I rarely think out, you know, until... But now I do that all the time. I used to be a person that just would follow instructions and never really think too much outside and, and deviate. Um, you know, I just thought, well, these are the rules, so you got to follow them or something. I don't know exactly how I used to think, which is strange. Which gets me to my writing from before. It's like I am just, I just have to accept that I am not who I used to be on so many levels and uh, you know especially you know just everything just I don't even know who that is I don't even know who that was um, oh yeah and that's my mm, I don't even know the phrase uh, something like pièce de résistance um, icing on the cake I'm not sure the phrase A thought theory um, about one of you know because I have many theories uh, and all of them cannot be proven because I, I, I cannot recreate them I cannot reproduce them and, or repeat them and I wouldn't want to and it's impossible because I can't go back to being who it was when I first came in and I can't go back to being the age I was or the health status or the death you know, life status or death status. I can't go back to that. Not exactly. Um, I could go to a new one, but I'd rather not. Coming back to life the one time was interesting and terrifying. Painful. So, ah. But, so the thought is, um, that one of the reasons why it was easy, well, relatively easier for me to accept this new reality um, and accept myself and deal with stuff better, because who this person is has never had a drink. I, have, I, I don't know anything, you know, I know how I, this person used to behave and used to what they used to do, but as far as this person's concerned, um, they've never had a drink. They don't know anything about, you know, what that feels like. Um, that is gone. Um, there is no euphoric recall. Um, I remember the memories, but I don't remember the feeling. And, you know, so it's not like I'm real, I can't, I'm not trying to recapture anything because I don't remember. I don't remember, like, if feeling, I remember the pain, I remember the, conf I remember the feelings associated, but I don't remember um, anything good about it. Um, I remember it being present, present when I was doing fun things, I remember, I think. Except that I was, I was never really, wherever the fun things were happening, I was never really part of it, or contributing, or associating, or communicating, because I was just there to drink, and that's what I did, and that's all I did. And whatever socialization I did was purely accidental, or happenstance. I was not there to, you know, talk to people. I was there to drink, and drink as much as I could. Um, so I wouldn't have to deal with people. 
So that was my strategy. It worked great. <sighs> so it's like this person has this person has never drank, and uh, and I'm, I'm not planning on it. It's not something I, I seek to investigate. Um, as far as I know, um, and hope to know, is uh, there's nothing there for me. There are no answers. There is no magic. Um, I can do better on my own. Like this, I can. Uh, I have um, whatever potential um, is within my uh, reservoir. I can do things, but as soon as I, as soon as I start heading down that road, or I start, uh, you know, because that's what happened before. Um, then I just shut down. I stop everything. Everything stops for me. I don't know how it works for anybody else. That's how it works for me. Is everything stops. All because everything that's going on right now, or that's been going on, or not going on, um, would have just crushed me, and just, just, I would have never bounced back. There would have been no bounce back. I would have just been like, okay, that's it, I give up. And then I would just shut down and stop doing stuff. And uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't go out. Um, I wouldn't go running. Um, I wouldn't write. Um, I wouldn't take pictures. I wouldn't uh, eat uh, better. Uh, I wouldn't uh, recycle. I wouldn't uh, think about conserva conservation um, or preservation or sustainability or anything like that. Um, I wouldn't be interested in anything about life. I would only be interested in drinking and getting away with it and being left alone. Leave me alone. I don't need you. Go away. I'm doing fine. So that's part of the story. Is that this person here has never had a drop to drink. And, you know, I don't remember... So it's like I don't have anything that I'm, I have no um, place where I'm trying to get back to desperately and trying to. Uh, I don't even know. But uh, it's like wherever it is I am, I like it here. You know, in this frame of mind, in this personality, and it's like I'm still trying to figure things out. It's like because you know I still have problems. But I still struggle. That's always going to be like that. So it's like, I better freaking get used to myself and work on it. So I can do that like this. As soon as I start, you know, if I did, then it's a crapshoot. I'm just kind of done. So I don't, I don't test it. I don't tempt it. I don't taunt it. Um, I don't toy with it. And, uh, and I don't taunt. Is that right? Tempt, tease, toy. Mm, there's other words, but because uh, it does me no good. So and it's like just because I see other people doing something doesn't mean that I have to do it. Just because I see them having fun doing what it is they do doesn't mean that I'm going to have fun. Because I am different, and my reaction to things is different. Um, so. I just need to remember that, and uh, remember that my being different uh, grants me the ability to do things and um, feel things, experience things that other people I don't think do. I don't. I really don't think they do. Um, it doesn't seem like it. I don't know what their experience is like, um, but a lot of people just seem lost, like I'm lost. But at least I kind of know it and have a sense of direction and an idea of what I want and what I like and who I am and what I want to become and whereas other people just seem frustrated and lost and it's everybody else's fault and why well, won't the world cooperate and do what I want um, so I don't know yeah it's I have no idea how other people think and I don't really engage with them on a regular basis to figure out you know it just seems like a lot of people are unhappy but you know I claim myself to be unhappy, but I think I might be accidentally happy. I just don't know it a lot of times. I don't consciously realize um, that 
I'm doing okay. I just, you know, I'm inconvenienced and frustrated by things I don't understand. I, I don't have as much information as I would like. Um, and, you know, it's like, you know, I could fall into the trap of self-pity and despair and melancholy and sadness. And that's all well and good. Good job. I don't care. You know, I, I get over myself, you know, as I have come to think of that phrase, as best as I can do uh, within my ability to process information. And, you know, I have so much failings with, you know, communication um, and interpretation of the world around me that it's like, I just do what I can and then get out before I get, you know, overwhelmed and find myself threatened and feeling familiar um, needs to get away to like a safe place where I can just be alone where I don't, I don't get, you know, so anyway, I should wrap this up but uh, anyway, that was my status report this is what I was doing on the day of September 9th, 2021 after having woken up to a nap of people doing construction and mowing lawns in the middle of the day because I said to sleep during the day, and I've got a meeting at 7 o'clock, a Thursday night men's closed discussion meeting, which I am still secretary, even though I didn't ever volunteer for it. Uh, just, yeah, yeah. That's something. Trying to get away from that one, too. They won't let me close the meeting. <laughs> and they won't let me... No one, everybody wants me to do the secretary because they want me to be there, or somebody, but no one else wants to do it. They want it to be there, they don't want to personally have to do anything for it. But they feel that somebody should. And that somebody is me. They want it available, on demand, on call, should they ever require it. But they don't want to do anything personally about it. Interesting. So, one of these days I just won't show up. And they will have to figure it out. And that day is approaching. Maybe not this week. Maybe not next month. This month, next month. Might be sometime, not soon ish. Relative. Some. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Not a slave. And I'm not a, um, a talking head that you can just pull off the shelf. And uh, it does tricks. I'm done just <sighs> being uh, a puppet. You know, I've cut the string. They were invisible strings to begin with. But I really got to go because I've got something in the oven. So, anyway, baking. How about that? I can do that. I never used to would have done that. Baking. Crazy. So, anyway, yeah, a life is a lot better for me than it ever used to be, and it's getting better. Um, whether I think it is or not, whether I realize it is or not, I can do things today. Things that I never would have used to have been able to do. And this is just, you know, just continues to be just fascinating to me that this, I've never run, ever, in my entire life, never run that far or that distance or that time never it would, I never would have thought about it I would, and now I am so it is the impossible made possible so that's like magic to me um, and it just it's, it's a will you know um, not a force but you know it's I don't know how to describe it I'll be working on that though and uh, it also just gets my thoughts going. It just, I just, it's great. So, anyway, I should go.